For years, the use of imaging in medicine has helped detect abnormalities in the digestive tract. Until recently, however, patients would still require a biopsy or surgical resection to determine the nature of the problem. Patients would often undergo invasive procedures, which would require hospital stays and, at times, lengthy periods of waiting for results. Now, a technologically advanced procedure, performed at Springfield Clinic, offers an alternative solution. Dr. Ashish Chopra, a specialist in gastroenterology at Springfield Clinic, is specially trained in the new diagnostic procedure known as endoscopic ultrasound with fine needle aspiration, or EUS with FNA. Available only in larger markets until recently, EUS with FNA combines endoscopy, introduced through a patient's mouth, and ultrasound to explore internal organs. When a tissue sample is required, a thin needle is attached to the endoscope. The needle can be used to remove tissue samples, guide treatments, analyze masses, and help diagnose conditions. Using EUS with FNA, physicians are able to get a deeper biopsy and look through thin layers of tissue with minimal invasion. EUS with FNA can even be used to determine the stage of cancer once it discovers a nodule or mass. When receiving your endoscopic ultrasound, you will be sedated. As with the regular endoscopic procedure, patients are not to eat or drink after midnight and will be asked to cease all antiplatelets and aspirin regimens prior to the procedure. After sedation, the scope is inserted through the patient's mouth. As it enters the area of study, which can include the esophagus, stomach, colon, and GI tract, sound waves are released from the scope. These waves bounce off the organ or tissue, are brought into the processor, and are made into real-time images, giving your doctor the ability to see any lumps, lesions, or abnormalities. For the fine needle aspiration portion, a needle is attached to the scope and reinserted. Because the scope is able to view surrounding blood vessels, the risk of bleeding is minimized. When the scope reaches the area of study, the needle is inserted into the lump or lesion, and the tissue is aspirated. If the abnormality is superficial, it can be removed by the needle. If the tissue needs to be examined, it is often done so by an in-room cytologist who may be able to diagnose the patient's condition or ailment during the procedure. Less invasive than surgery, but with greater diagnostic ability and reduced recovery time, endoscopic ultrasound with fine needle aspiration is a better way to diagnose and treat esophageal illness. For more information, call Springfield Clinic gastroenterology today.